So tell me about uh, education economics. What does it mean? Well, education economics, uh, from my perspective, I think this is a field that uh, looks at education, uh, the role it plays in the labor market, how to link education to the labor market, that is economics. Yeah. So basically, um, this tries to look at the productivity of education. For instance, we study because um, we want to acquire certificates and then from there yeah. look for jobs in the labor market. And we believe that with our qualification, we are going to have decent job and then earn better earnings. So, but yeah. in, in, in Africa, that is not the reality because you can have up to PhD and still you remain poor. So actually this has to do with the human capital theory that uh, explains that education increased productivity. But in okay. reality, in Africa, it's different. So when I study education economy, I realized there are a lot of factors that are missing in our education system that yeah. should kind of uh, translate the theory that is explained by the human capital mm. theories. Yes. Okay. Okay. So you have done this. So now you're back in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how do you translate this knowledge through the, the ministry? How do you guys translate it to the, the schools and the educational system? Well, I, I feel like our curriculum really need to be rethink. We really need to restructure it. You know, okay. yeah. And then because uh, the curriculum itself has some issues. And I feel like as a policymaker working at the Ministry of Higher Education, we really need to look into our curriculum. Because uh, when I did my dissertation during my interview with some of the students, because I did explanatory sequential mixed metal, first I, I collected data from the students uh, through a survey. And then later I make a follow up. So some of the things that I, I, I got from my participants, they were complaining about the, the low quality education. So okay. it's like students say that they are not much exposed to practical learnings in the University of the Ghana because I use University of the Ghana as my case study. Yeah. Uh, Yes, so they said they don't have much practical and they believe this is one of the challenges that they have because they have so much of theoretical concepts from the school and then when they graduate, the, to practical lies, those knowledge becomes very problematic for them. Mm. So they believe they are not much exposed and then also they believe that, you know, the economy also is not growing, you know, the public and yeah. private sector. Well, the econ economy can cannot grow if the people who are supposed uh -huh. to add value, that uh -huh. is me and you, yes, are not doing it. Yes. The, I, 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 economy I is, not, is not a concept in the sky. It's I agree with you. Activities. I agree with you. Yeah. Yes, I agree 100%. And then that is the reason why uh, the, I believe that uh, we have a lapse in our education system because what our education system is not designed to make our students to think critically. The critical thinking concept is not embedded in our education system because uh, when you teach students, is to teach them in a way that they can think, they can produce knowledge. And that has to do with when you expose them, when you're teaching and exposing them, and then this, they can try to translate what you teach them conceptually into reality. And I feel like this is some of the reasons that, that this, are, this is some of the things that are missing in our educational system, mm. particularly in our curriculum. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, what you said is true. The economy is kind of come is we who have to grow make the economy grow yeah. and then in that way uh, how can we do it if the students learn and they understand what they've learned by the time they graduate from the school they're thinking of how to create jobs for themselves not the government or the private sector creating jobs for themselves but them creating jobs and employing other people yeah they, them as members of the private sector create exactly. jobs yeah